so from this session we are going to start another series that will be completely based on web development so the first thing that we are going to start uh, in this course is about the html okay so in this session we are going to discuss about what exactly the html is why we need html and what are the basic structure of html what are tags and elements in html so we will start with the html definition so what is html so html is hypertext markup language so the questions comes here why we need this hypertext markup language uh, we need this hypertext markup language to instruct the browser that we are uh, to instruct the browser whatever the info information we are going to send to the browser or to show to the uh, user is uh, only defined with the help of hypertext markup language so that is clear so wh whenever we want to create any web page then we need uh, html to define its basic structure okay so uh, for uh, for this session i am using the editor that is visual code studio and throughout the this series we are going to use the same editor so if you want to use any other editor that is fine you can use any other editor like sublime text or you can use the normal notepad as well but make sure one thing that whenever you are going to create any file please uh, save that file with the help of, uh, with the extension of .html okay so here suppose I, uh, here i have created one web page uh, the web file with the name of web uh, page and it is closed uh, it is saved with the extension .html okay so whenever you uh, want to create any web page please make sure that you have saved your file with the .html extension okay so now we will see the structure basic structure or what are the tags and elements in the html so why we need tags and elements so whatever the things we write or we need to uh, create a web page is composed of tags and element so firstly we will see what are tags and how we define those tags so to define the tags you have to firstly uh, use the opening angular bracket so here on the line number 18 i'm showing you the structure of tag so just uh, start with the opening angular bracket then your tag name so tag name and then closing angular bracket okay so this is the opening tag so whatever the name written inside these opening and closing angular bracket is known as tag okay or tag name then for each tag there is another closing tag as well okay so what are the difference between closing tag and opening tag in the closing tag there is one forward slash just before the tag name but in the opening tag there is no forward slash so this is the only difference between the opening tag and closing tag there are some tags are uh, in html also which doesn't need these closing tags so we will uh, discuss and see uh, about those tags in the upcoming session for now we will see the basic structure of how we can define the tags. so mostly the tags are defined in uh, in this way only so we have to start with the opening tag then closing tag now whatever the thing we will write here so suppose i will write element okay. so whatever the things written between the opening tag and closing tag is considered as a element so this complete block is considered as an element so uh, for creating the web page we will use uh, multiple elements to create a particular web page okay so this is how we define the tags and the the content uh, from opening tag to closing tag is considered as an element now one by one we will see the each and every line of this basic structure of html code that we have already written here so on the line number one we are using one tag that is uh, started with the opening angular bracket then exclamation mark then doc type and then html and closing angular bracket 
so why we use why we are using this uh, tag because to instruct the browser that this document is related to the html that is hypertext markup language so one question arises here why we uh, don't use the closing tag for this uh, tag because this tag doesn't need closing tag most of the tags need closing tag but there are few tags uh, in html who doesn't need uh, they doesn't need the closing bracket uh, or closing tags okay so that we will see in the upcoming session like why we uh, what are those tags that doesn't need the closing tags now on the line number two we are using another tag that is html and this tag is closed here on the line number 14 with the forward slash okay so this is the block of html so whatever the thing we will write here will be considered as a html code so each and every structure or program of html will be started from the html tag then closing of html tag and uh, then we will write the entire code inside this html block now on the line number four we are using another tag that is head tag that uh, this tag is started on line number four and closed on the line number six so why we use this head tag to uh, here in this head tag we store the metadata or meta information of the web page so what are the metadata and what meta information that we will see in the upcoming session for now we have written one tags inside this head tag that is title tag so whatever the web page we have want to create we have to give one title to uh, that particular web page it is not mandatory but usually we give the title to our web page so that it will look uh, good to the user that uh, okay so this web page has one title and that is the title of the web page so here we are using the title tag to store uh, to give that name to my web page so here i have given the name uh, to my web pages tag sharmit and then i have uh, closed this uh, tag with the closing title tag and then on line number six the head tag is closed so whenever we uh, need to give any title to any particular web page then we have to store it inside the head tag where uh, usually we define the metadata of our web page and to define the title we need uh, the tag that is title tag okay now we will come and see about the uh, line number eight so what is uh, the tag we are using here is body tag so whatever the things we write inside the body tag will be reflected on our web page so whatever we have written here is uh, is reflecting on our web page that we will see once we complete this code and execute the code okay so body tag is started with the opening angular bracket then tag name that is body then closing angular bracket and this tag is closed on the line number 12. now inside this body tag we have another two tags that is h1 tag and p tag so h1 tag is mainly used for defining the headings of our web which pay web page and p tag is mainly used to write the paragraph for our web page we will uh, see that these uh, all these tags in a brief description in our upcoming session so for now we are just using these two tags to show the basic output of our web page okay and then we are on line number 12 we have closed the body tag and on 14 we have closed the html tag so this is the basic structure of our web page now i will save this code with the help of Control s and just right click on your editor and then just go to open it into our default browser so just click on open in default browser once you click here it will show the output of this code into our browser okay so it will take some time yeah so here the page is okay so it is taking some time to load the page so here it is so mainly this is the output that we got from the our HTML code okay so now we will see the code again 
so here we have given the title texturement to our page so here we can see that on the top here the title is coming as texture myth because we have provided the title name inside the title tag that is enclosed in head tag so this is the title of the page so whatever we will write here inside the uh, title block will be reflected to this uh, portion that is title of this page then the second tag that is reflected on this uh, on the web browser is heading so we can see that this is heading so it is loading the um, just save this page again and refresh it here to see the updated web page so this is the previous page that i have declared uh, for this example so the updated one is of uh, updated one is this one it is taking a bit longer than the expected time but yeah here the output is so this is the title for our web page okay that is texture myth and that whatever we will write here inside the heading tag is considered as a heading so it is coming here as a heading then inside the paragraph we have written the paragraph so it is showing here paragraph so suppose i wanted to change the heading so i can change it here so just remove this and put it as a new heading okay then save this with the help of control s just go to the browser and refresh your page so we can see that the heading is coming as a new heading and if you wanted to uh, change the title of this page so we can change so here tag shermit uh, we will remove the tag and just keep the shermit as a title of this page and save this and then again go to the web browser and refresh the page so it will show the title as a shermit so this is how the basic structure of html works so this is the only thing i wanted to share with you all for this session and in the upcoming session we will see some more uh, brief description about these tags and elements what how many types of headings we have we will discuss in the that upcoming sessions okay so we will go much deeper into this uh, html basics and we will learn more about the html and web part, web development part so yeah that's all for this session thank you for watching the texture method